So today I'm going to do uh, a few CRT experiments as um, with my big neodymium uh, magnet here. Okay, it's a bit dark, um, so you might not be able to see it very well. But uh, in one of the previous videos, in my last video, I established that this side is north and the silver side, I don't know if you can see this, but the silver side is the South Pole. So the black side is north. So I'm going to try to always keep the north up. We're just going to look at the North Pole because the South Pole does just the opposite of the North Pole. So I just want to do a couple experiments. Uh, something I noticed when I watched my clockwise versus counterclockwise video is something I hadn't really noticed before. And so here I'm going to I'm going to bring the magnet. North is up, south is down, close to the CRT screen. Hopefully you can see, hopefully I'm not blocking too much, um, but you can see the, uh, the lines that are being formed. Okay, this is a Trinitron, um, a Trinitron um, CRT, and so that's why you're seeing the red, blue, and green lines, although they're very distorted by the magnet. Um, normally they would be vertically uh, in the back of this screen. you got the, the red RGB, the red, green, blue phosphors, and that's where the colors are coming from. Okay, So when you put the magnet to it, it messes everything up. But what I think is really cool is um, when you get really close with this big magnet, you get this giant void. It almost looks like the Mendelbrot set, which is why I really love it. It is very close to the first iteration of the Mendelbrot set. Not that I think that it has anything to do with it. Okay, I'm going to turn the magnet and show you it makes no difference. Okay, it doesn't matter which side. I could bring it in the corner and I still get that pattern. Still get the void. Also, it doesn't matter where on the screen I go. Okay, it's always sort of pushing to the left. Now I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to actually put south up and you're going to see the void going in the other way. And I want to show you that so I can show you that um, the, there's nothing on this side and everything from this end over here. So when you go back to north, because you might not be able to see, let's see if we can see everything if I hold it this way. Okay, you see it's sort of squished on this end. Think of this like a balloon and it's squished on this end and it's fat on this end and it doesn't matter. It's not nothing to do with the curvature of the screen. Some people have said, oh, that's the curvature of the screen. This has nothing to do, this effect has nothing to do with the curvature of the screen. And when I turn it around with south up, it goes the other way. Okay. So now I'm going to go back, put north up again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to face, I'm going to point north toward the screen. And what you're going to see here is, hopefully you can see this, is, turn my screen back on. The screen goes off on its own. It's got a standby mode. So as you can see, as I'm getting closer, this side is going down and this side is twisting up. It's twisting sort of this way, right? So this is twisting this way. So this side is going down and this side is coming up. Okay, so that's kind of neat. And when I turn it the south to the screen, you see this side is now coming up and this side is going down. So it's it's twisting this way. And when I go this north pole, it's twisting this way. Okay, which is counterclockwise. So it is spinning these lines, whatever they are, however they're formed, they are being twisted counterclockwise. Okay. I'm going to turn on my camera and I'm going to show you these white lines. Now I've done this experiment before in my clockwise counterclockwise video. I showed you these lines before, but now we're going to look a little closer. Okay, we're going to look a little closer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the north pole 
I'm going to face the North Pole to the screen, and we're going to look at what way these lines twist. Okay, so when I'm when I bring my magnet close to the screen, this side goes up and this side comes down. Okay, so these lines are doing the opposite of what these what the background colorful lines were doing. These lines are twisting in the opposite direction. They're spinning spinning clockwise now instead of counterclockwise on the screen. Okay, they're spinning clockwise. I'm going to turn the camera off because the lines are distracting. Okay, and now you see without the lines, these lines are actually twisting counterclockwise. They're like, they look like they're twisting counterclockwise. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to go back and forth and hopefully there's enough there that you can see. Maybe if I go over here you can see it better. Okay, so that is it's not twisting as much but it's still twisting. I can see the right hand side is up and the left hand side is down which means it's spinning this way which when I look at it is clockwise. So these are spinning backwards. Okay, now the left is going up and the right is going down. Okay, it's spinning clockwise here. But when I look at it, it's spinning counterclockwise. Okay, so it's spinning clockwise here. If this is spinning clockwise, so this is going up and the right is going down. This is going up and the right is going down. So this is counterclockwise. So this is counterclockwise, as we suspected with the sideways experiment. So this is counterclockwise. If it's spinning counterclockwise, then that explains why it's pushing the water this way, why it's pushing the screen displacing, whatever it is that's doing this, is displacing it this way. Okay, so these lines actually match. These lines match, so this is this side's going up and this side's going down, which means it's going counterclockwise. So these lines actually match um, the rotation that I, I expect that's going on here. But when I turn the camera off, these guys are pushing, so now the left is going down and the right is going up and now it's spinning clockwise. So these, whatever is going on here is twisting opposite to the direction that these lines are twisting. So there's two things going on here, not just one thing. These lines and these lines. And uh, so I'm not going to try to explain what that is. I think it has something to do with precession. So this is, um, this would be analogous to the wheel spinning, to the wheel spinning. If this was a wheel, if this was a flywheel, and it's spinning, and it's spinning this way, which means that it's splashing this way. This was a wheel, it'd be spinning this way and splashing this way. Okay. And these lines seem to be twisting in the opposite direction, which is what, um, which, which is what happens in when you spin a wheel or a gyroscope and turn it orthogonal. Then it starts to process, precess in the opposite direction, and that's what, excuse me, that's what this seems to be doing. So I think this is analogous to precession of, of a flywheel when you do that with a flywheel. And, and this seems to be spinning in the right direction, in the right direction as, as far as is what I think is going on here, that this is spinning counterclockwise and pushing, so this is counterclockwise, so now this has to come, the left has to go up and the right has to go down. 
Now this is, I know this is hard to see in a video. It's hard to, um, to get this clockwise, counterclockwise, unless you do the experiment yourself. And I highly recommend that you go out and buy, and go to Goodwill and buy a, an old CRT screen. You know, someone will probably give you one. And um, then get a nice magnet for 30 or $40, big magnet. You really need the big one to get this effect to get this effect but then you know you can you can check it out for yourself so that's uh, it for today